Hello friends. In this session, I am going to uh, explain few site admin activities. Okay, what, may, what site administrators will do at site level. Okay, now first one is a creating a projects and folders. Means they are responsible means uh, whenever they required a new project in that site so they can create it and creating a groups they are able to create a groups as a site admin they have a access to adding the users by giving a appropriate site roles okay and scheduling the extract refreshes means uh, i have a uh, some extract files so i want to refresh it based on some schedules so site administrators will be having a access to schedule those refreshes and managing users and workbooks if you want to delete or add some users so they can do it and if they want to some delete workbooks if they want to publish some workbooks so they they can manage the users and workbooks and giving project level permissions and user level permissions now for example if some users were there uh, I, in my server let's think i have a 500 users out of 500 users 100 users i have to give permission for project a and 50 users for project b and 30 users for project c so this way we can give the project level permissions and we can assign a one person as a project leader so we will explain i will explain uh, in the next couple of uh, sessions like what all are the uh, role site roles available and how we can uh, give the permissions to different different levels we will uh, discuss about it now checking extract background tasks means uh, in the site level uh, we will be having some customized views so uh, by going there we can check uh, what are the extracts running currently and how many got succeeded how many got failed means if failed means what is the reason and what step we have to take uh, immediately to fix those issues so those kind of things we have to as a site administrator we have to check these things and now some in some cases the end user like uh, uh, the uh, talent jobs or some uh, ETL jobs uh, ran late one day. So in that time, the end users will ask like, "Hey, can you please refresh this extract? It's uh, very urgent for reporting purpose." So in that case, we have to manually trigger that extract refreshes. Those kind of things we will call it as ad hoc request to refresh extracts or to create some ad hoc uh, reports in the server side. Okay, and space management at site level uh, means, uh, for example. Uh, for this what we have to do is if uh, for example in my site level i have a 10 reports think like i have 10 reports in the 10 reports three reports were not at all using from last six months then what we have to do is we have to discuss with business users and with their approval we have to take the backup and we have we are going to remove from the server means uh, along with uh, the data sources whichever is uh, connected to that workbooks so in that way we can uh, free our server means we can reduce the burden on our server so these are the activities uh, we are going to do at site level and custom settings means uh, the site administrator can can able to do change can able to change the logo of your site level and enabling ask option means this is a new option like uh, if whatever the question you want to you are having are uh, regarding your data means you want to analyze the analyze you want to get output from your data so then directly what you can do is you can type a question automatically tableau will give the result based on your question whatever the question you were asking so and subscriptions okay managing the subscriptions whether in site level if you want to disable the subscriptions you can able to do as a site administrator and lineage this lineage is also a new option like uh end use if you if you are uh, writing some custom query by using a 10 tables so in that case if you want to check the table list if any new person came 
as a developer if you want to check the 10 tables what he has to do he has to download that workbook and he has to edit that query edit the data source then only he will get the 10 table names but in this by using the lineage option what we can do is in the server side itself we can check what are the tables used in the data source so this is a new option we will see in the next couple of sessions okay thank you guys these are the uh, some site admin activities okay uh, thanks for watching my video and please subscribe my channel don't forget i am going to explain uh, more uh, server things and also real-time scenarios please subscribe my channel guys thank you